vehicle needs repairs. While many insurance bullies try to make you use their choice, Abbott's Precision Collision reminds you that you always have the choice. And when you exercise that choice, remember Abbott's Precision Collision provides quality repairs at a great price and always backs them with a satisfaction guarantee. It's your choice. Don't be bullied. Choose Abbott's. Save half off other stores' half off sale prices on mattresses at Mark's Mattress Outlet during Mark's Madness. Mark's Mattress Outlet. At More & More Smiles, we offer sedation dentistry, meeting all your dental needs in a family-friendly, relaxed environment. If you are ever nervous or afraid to visit the dentist, let us put your mind at ease. Our local expert team is continuously trained beyond typical standards to provide the most comfortable and professional dental care. Visit or call our state-of-the-art office in West Lafayette for a caring, gentle dental experience. Be a part of our family at More & More Smiles. Show me your teeth, baby. Everybody in the pool. A new swimming pool in your backyard this summer means double the fun for your family. What better way to keep the kids entertained? Think you can't afford it? Then think again. The big 15 by 24 Econoline pool from Blue World Pools is only $3.99. Yes, $3.99, and that super low price includes pump, filter, liner, ladder, and a free automatic pool vacuum. That's right, all that fun, only $3.99. But that's not all. That price even includes installation on your ready site. What a deal! You may choose to step up to the next level with our midline pool or really turn your backyard into a summer party paradise with the classic pool from Blue World Pools. Our top-of-the-line classic is famous for its low maintenance and high-style beauty. Nothing brings the family together like a backyard pool. The summer barbecues, the parties, or just hanging out and cooling off on yet another sweltering summer day. Beat that heat. Call Blue World Pools now and get your party started. Five. Two, one. Oh yeah. Get into Nissan now. Choose Juke, just $189 per month. Shop ChooseNissan.com. You're watching News 18 at 11. News from where you live. The Art Museum of Greater Lafayette hosted a bullathon benefiting the YWCA this afternoon. Community members, including the Greater Lafayette Clay Guild, came together to throw bowls. The bowls are for the Clay Bowl Giving Project, which benefits the YWCA's Domestic Violence Intervention and Prevention Program. Nancy Grenard of the Greater Lafayette Clay Guild says they surpassed their 200 bowl goal. I believe we got 200 plus today. <laughs> And we had some uh, local celebrities here earlier, and uh, they were having a great time too. The bowls will be sold at the Clay Bowl lunch on April 17th at the YWCA. The Boilermaker Regional Robotics Competition wrapped up today at Purdue. More than 40 teams competed in the weekend event with an elimination tournament round selecting the winner this afternoon. McCutcheon High School's team advanced all the way to the semifinal round, but this year's championship went to the Jay County High School from Portland, Indiana. The team will compete in the World Championships in St. Louis next month. Today, two Vigo County Sheriff's deputies had their best day on the job. Around 3 o'clock this morning, Deputy Jason Washburn and Deputy Jack Stofall saved another man's life. Reporter Patsy Kelly of our sister station WTHI in Terre Haute spoke to one of those deputies who says he was just doing his job. Put the uniform on, you know you're going to be helping somebody. The call came in early Saturday morning. A Vigo County man with no pulse and in cardiac arrest. In the bedroom on the floor, his wife to get CPR. Then Vigo County Sheriff's Deputy Jason Washburn pulled out his automated external defibrillator. Clothes from patient's chest. I got out my AED and hooked it up while Deputy Shostall started CPR. That's when the man came back to life. After two shocks with the defibrillator, uh, he took his first breath. It's an extraordinary story that wouldn't have been possible two years ago. The Sheriff's Department got AEDs for several of their cars. We have them on each shift, and we try to have one in each district. Now Deputy Washburn knows for a fact it's a tool every deputy should have, and just an example of one of the many things a deputy manages regularly. Well, a lot of times people see police officers uh, carrying a gun. A lot of times uh, people watch television, see police officers, taking somebody's life, and you hear about that on the news. Well, today a life is uh, safe. 
by law enforcement. This is just the second time the AED saved a life, but they call the cost invaluable. It's worth all the training and all the equipment uh, in, in, in the world. If we have an opportunity to help somebody in need or save a life, it's well worth it. For Deputy Washburn, it's just another day on the job. I mean, I don't feel like I did anything above or beyond my duties, but it, it, is, it is a good feeling to, to help somebody. But for one grateful family, it means another day with a father, husband, and son. In Vigo County, Patsy Kelly, News 10. And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. It was much cooler today than it was yesterday. We had a high of 65 degrees yesterday, and today we only had a high of 45 degrees. And right now we're sitting at 34 in Lafayette, seeing partly cloudy skies with winds coming in from the north at 8 miles per hour and around the area. Currently in the 30s, 34 degrees in Kokomo, 33 in Rossville, 36 down in Crawfordsville, 32 degrees in Fowler, and 32 degrees also up around Rensselaer. We have some clouds hanging around the viewing area, mostly the northern half of the state. We'll see partly cloudy skies during the overnight period and even to start off the day tomorrow. Our future cast shows most of the clouds just hanging around up until we get to tomorrow around 7 o'clock. The below average temperatures are here to stay, unfortunately, and then we also have a chance for light snow once we get to Tuesday. But don't worry, we do get to warm right back up once we get to the end of the week, and we're not expecting too much snow with this system. It looks like around an inch at this time, but that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on as we get closer to to Tuesday. Tonight we're going to fall to 23 degrees once again, seeing partly cloudy skies. It could be a bit breezy at times with wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour possible. Temperatures will fall into the 20s as well. 23 for an overnight low in Delphi, 22 Logansport, 24 in Frankfurt, and a low of 23 degrees in Attica, which means it's going to be a pretty cool start to tomorrow. 23 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll see mostly cloudy skies turning partly cloudy around lunch hour. 28 degrees by then. And then 34 degrees by 4 p.m. in the afternoon. We'll see mostly sunny skies once we get to the afternoon hours, and that's because we'll have high pressure move into the area. But temperatures much cooler even than today. 32 for a high in Monticello, 31 up in Winnemac, and 33 for a high in Fowler. And once again, a high of only 34 degrees in Lafayette. And these cooler temperatures are not going to leave anytime soon, unfortunately. We're going to stay well below the average. It's supposed to be around 53 degrees, but we do finally climb up into the 50s once we get to Thursday. We'll climb back up to 52 Thursday, 54 degrees on Friday. But in the midst of the cold air, we do have a chance for snow in the forecast. Futurecast shows around tomorrow morning we do have the clouds hanging around. That high pressure area will move in to the state and that will allow mostly sunny skies and then mostly clear skies overnight. Once we get to Monday morning at 7, more clouds will build in as this system moves in. This shows Monday at 7 p.m. brings us a chance for snow during Monday night and into Tuesday morning. So we're, we're not quite out of the um, in the clear yet just because we are tracking snow showers for the week ahead, at least for Monday night and into Tuesday. High 37 degrees on Monday. And then 33 degrees for high on Tuesday. We, once again, we could see about an inch, or of, or an inch or so of snow. Not expecting too much with this. 39 for high on Wednesday with partly cloudy skies. Thursday, we do have a chance for rain showers with a high of 52 degrees. The rain will stick around until Friday morning with a high of 54 degrees next Friday. And then next Saturday, partly cloudy with a high of 50. So it looks like the first part of the week's gonna be a little rocky just because we are dealing with the much cooler temperatures and unfortunately snow. Is it bad that an inch or so of snow doesn't really phase me anymore? It really doesn't, but yeah, it's just sad because it's, it's spring. It's sad, it is sad. It's spring and we're seeing snow, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. So. Yeah, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, it's how right? We'll get is. there. The yes. warmth, we'll get there. Lady Boilers totally redeeming themselves, huh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> After a disappointing showing in the Big Ten tournament, the Purdue women's basketball team finally had a chance to respond today at home and respond they did. Highlights and post game reaction from Mackey Arena. Next in sports. <laughs> 